Your auto light dealer presents your favorite friends from Gasoline Alley. Hold it, Wilmer. Hold it till I get this phone. Okay, Jesus. Wallet and Bubble Garage, she's at Wallet speaking. What's that? Yes, sir, we can fix it. We can fix anything on four wheels. Sure, we'll be waiting for you right here in Gasoline Alley. Yes, it's Gasoline Alley, the comic strip that's a favorite in more than a hundred newspapers. In this episode, The Adventure of Jealous Jessica, Jesus and Wilmer discover that it's better to give than to receive, especially when the gift involves a new hat for your wife. But first, a word from the friendly auto light dealer in your own hometown. And now, Gasoline Alley. As usual, there's a lot of activity around the Wallet and Bobble garage this morning, and as sometimes happens, Wilmer is just now arriving to take part in it. What is unusual is the look of grave and serious concern on Wilmer's face, and Jesus naturally is curious about it. Hi, Wilmer. What seems to be the trouble? Oh, it's Jessica. Well, gee, it's nothing serious, I hope. Well, you'd think it was if you could hear her. She's after me to let her buy a new hat. Oh, is that all? Well, no, not exactly. You know, Jesus, I've been thinking about our business, and I've come to the conclusion that something has got to be done around here. You're so right, Wilma. Better grab your wrench. What I mean is we've got to start being more efficient, get more work out. You're absolutely right, Wilma. Get your wrench. Maybe what we ought to do is raise our price. And lose all our customers to our competitors? Well, we've got to take more money out of the business some way. I think we're doing about as well as we can at the moment. Well, yeah, I suppose so. In fact, that's just what I told Jessica. Jessica? Yeah, she's the one who suggested we ought to be more efficient. We ought to raise our prices, get higher profits. Well, how come Jessica's taking so much interest in our business? Like I said... He wants a new hat. The trouble with you, Wilmer, is you just don't understand women. Does anybody? Sure. Other women. Eh, uh, get that while you're up, will you? Wallet and Bobble Garage. He's at Wallet speaking. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we can. Where is your car? Oh, no. Chestnut and Linden. I'll be there in five minutes. Some woman can't get her car started. A uh, woman, maybe I'd better go. No, no, it's an emergency, and you still have to get into your jumper. You can tackle some of this work around here. Okay, where do I start, Wilmer? You know that as well as I do. Grab your wrench. <laughs> Is it anything serious, Mr. Wallace? Oh, no, ma'am. Just these distributor points. Oh. And if you get a little time, you ought to run into the garage and let us replace them for you. I sure? Yes, ma'am. I was just noticing these spark plugs, too. How long have they been in the car? Well, I really don't know. You surprise me if you need a new one. You know, it really pays to keep your ignition system in top working order. There. Now, that ought to do it. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Now, how much will that be? Oh, not a thing. Nothing at all. Oh, but surely I must owe you something. Oh, no, ma'am. It's just part of the wallet and bobble service. Oh, but I insist. Ladies, please. I know my business. Well, that's awfully kind of you. Oh, not at all. Drop around this afternoon and we'll look over that ignition system and tune up your motor. You've been so kind, Mr. Wallet. I wonder if you'd do one more little favor for me. Well, sure, if I can. Uh, just take this to your wife. Hey, what's this? Well, it's a hat box, of course. Yeah, hat box. With a hat inside. Well, I can't take this tonight. Uh, that is my wife. Well, of course you can. You're going to see her, aren't you? Well, well sure, well, you but... you just give it to her and tell her it's from Madame's hat. Madame's hat. Oh, but lady... I'm Miss Mode. I own the store. 
We have very exclusive styles. A hat for every woman's taste and her husband's approval. Well, I'm sure they are, but after Mr. all... Mr. Wallace, please. I know my business. Well, this is very nice. Now, of not another word about it. But... Why, Mr. Wallace? Huh? You said another word. <laughs> Hey, you back already? Well, sure, it wasn't serious. Just had to clean up the points a little to get the car started. Well, I hope you charged her plenty for the call. Nope, I didn't charge you anything. You didn't charge her. You did all that for free. Well, sure, Wilmer. She said she'd be in a later for a motor checkup. Her car needs new spark plugs. Eventually, she's going to need a new battery. So, so I didn't charge her for the road call, and she'll probably become a regular customer. Regular customer? You mean we'll probably never see her again? Well, I think we will. In fact, I'm sure of it. What makes you so positive? Take a look in the seat of the tow truck. Right, well, for Pete's sake, a hot box. Yeah, she gave it to me for Nina. She gave you a hot for Nina? Free hot? How come? Well, I don't know. I told her there was no charge for the emergency call, so she ups and hands me the hat box and all. How do you like that? She owns a store. Madame's Hat. Madame's Hat. That's one of the most exclusive hat shops in town. Say... What's the matter with you? Jessica wants a new hat, doesn't she? Well, yes, but... And that woman appreciates service. Well, when she drives in here, she'll get such great service, she'll want to give Jessica two Alley and the Adventure of Jealous Jessica. Miss Moe, the owner of Madam's Hat, has left her car at Wallace and Bobble's garage. While Skeezik congratulates himself on winning a new customer and a new hat for Nina, Wilmer is giving Miss Moe's car the full personalized tune-up treatment. How are you making out with Miss Moe's car, Wilmer? Oh, it's just about ready to roll. And boy, have I done a tune-up job on this mode. Well, that's good, because Miss Mode is here for the car. Uh, oh! Oh, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Your car will be ready in just a moment, Miss Mode. Fine. I hope there wasn't too much wrong with it. Not a thing, except for the new plugs and points. But while I was at it, I thought I'd better check everything, you know, just part of the service. Oh, that was very thoughtful of you, I'm sure. Sure, I didn't overlook the thing. Check the time and adjusted the carburetor, check the battery, adjusted the brakes and headlights, put an oil water can, got 32 pounds of air in the tires. My, that sounds like a lot of air. I thought my tires only took 28 pounds. Don't mention it, the four extra pounds are on the house. Uh, uh, you'll find a car in tip top shape. And uh, just to make sure, I uh, I recommend a test run around the block. Top it. All right. Up. Uh, be back in a minute, Skeezix. I'm just going to show Miss Mort everything I've done for her. Boy, listen to that motor. Well, it does sound better. The old Bible touch. When I work on a motor, it runs like a charm. Maybe it ought to run more like a motor. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as I was saying, uh, you ought to take advantage of the wallet and bobble service. Bring your car in regularly and let us check up our... Check up our... Uh, oh, oh. Wilbur, tell me. No. Wilbur, Bobble. Uh, hello there, Jessica. Oh, Wilbur. A friend of yours? Hardly. That, that is, she's my wife. Uh, Why, Mr. Bobble, what's the matter? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. She's crazy. About hats, that is. But, but, but she's so jealous. And here I go driving right past her with, 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 with somebody else. Wait, where are you going? Oh, I don't know. Mexico might be nice this time of year. But there's the garage right there. Uh, oh, yes, Wallace and Bobble. 
Well, thank you. It's been nice. Oh, thank you so much for everything you've done for my car. Will you just mail the bill to Madame's hat? Sure. And, Mr. Bobble, I wonder if you can do one more favor. Uh, well, I don't know. Would you mind taking this for your wife? Hey, it's a hot pot. With, with, with a hot inside? Oh, certainly. Just tell your wife it's from Madame's hat. I sure will. Well, goodbye, Paul. Goodbye. Hey, Jesus. Jesus. Look at this. She gave me an hot projector. Oh, it's well rumor. Just like mine. It better not be. We want our wives to be friends. Oh, I knew I'd put it over. Plenty of service, I always say. Service in the old bottle cut. That touch is right. Huh. Jesus. Rumor, what's wrong? The most horrible thought you hit me. You know how jealous Jessica is, and she saw me in that car with this mode, and now if I give her this hat, Jessica will... So she'll think she has good reason to be jealous. Yeah. Here. Take it. Here's another hat for nine. Well, thanks, Wilmer, but I'm not so sure I ought to give it to her. Gee, two new hats for nine. I just hope this won't be habit for me. <laughs> How's Jessica? I don't know. Well, isn't she home? Yeah, but she ain't speaking to me. Well, no wonder. Here, this is for her. Oh, no, 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 no. Not that, not that hat. I can't give it to her now, and you know why. Wait a second. Let me explain. Jessica isn't speaking to you because she expected you to bring this hat home to her. Well, that's what I mean. She expected me to put Wow. Yeah. Jessica and I have picked those hats out themselves. Down at Madame's hat. They did? Yes, and they charged them to us. They did? They aren't free. We have to pay for them. They did? We do? Yes. The girls wanted the hat and Miss Moe gave them to us to deliver because it happened to be convenient. You know something? Jessica and Nina told Miss Moe to bring her car to us for repairs and service. No. Yeah, they figured we wouldn't mind their getting new hats as long as we got some new business. And boy, it sure turned out that way, didn't it? How do you mean? The girls got the hat, and we got the business. <laughs>